Hey Alexander, thank you so much for taking the time. I'm super ha happy to meet you today online <laughs> and to ask you some questions that I am really interested in. So I will start now with the first question. It's a kind of a basic question, but I think it's important to ask. So how did you get into art? Uh, was it always your dream to live and work as an artist or did you experience something and then decided to be an artist? What, how was it? <laughs> well, uh, my first contacts with, with let's say, uh, some, with art or some of the art techniques was with, with uh, I think like mostly artists, uh, was starting with that uh, six, seven years old when I was. And, and what was what was uh, impacting on, on that to, to to start expressing myself was uh, I was living in Bosnia and that was uh, during the war in Bosnia. So uh, we were like kids. We was restricted for from uh, much other stuffs, much enter other normal entertainment. What usually that uh, in childhood you would have. So so like it you have to find some solution to express yourself and to entertain yourself so then uh, in the, in that period uh, you, we could not spend that much time outside playing uh, because of all that situations or what we are inside and uh, I will start to drawing like normal that uh, drawing what uh, that instinctive drawing uh, ju just uh, with some lines to express something and then I was, I was, uh, I find a lot of fun inside that. I find uh, that I was entertaining myself in, in, in that drawing, and I think uh, that was making that uh, that my first impact on me. That I start uh, with, with with doing something. What was later, probably growing up in, in art. Uh, then uh, during my teenage times, I was. Uh, in, inside that little bit street art, I was doing that graffiti art, like like that was that influence what was coming in that uh, in that uh, in my city, let's say. And uh, with that things, I was uh, maybe two or three years. I still have that old drawings. I still have that sketchbooks. Today, I also a lot of time taking that and analyzing that. And one thing what I was also still keeping where, where I see that my first steps of creativity is that small toys like it, what you're playing with that, like small cars. I was taking and color them, redesigning them. And, and, and uh, I still keeping some of them and I'm very happy to have them. And there I thinking I was also uh, start to build it at some uh, at, at my uh, visual and aesthetic perception of, of, of things also. And what I think most important thing, what was, what was uh, uh, making me to, to, in, in that, to decide like profession to take art, to start uh, with, with uh, uh, more serious, is that my uh, first year of, of high school, I, uh, we was on that uh, art uh, lessons we was having that our professor uh, was putting uh, on that uh, video player that movie about Jackson Pollock, what was made uh, with, with Ed Harris, with the actor. And in that moment, after watching that movie, I was fascinated with all that uh, energy, what what the art bringing uh, about that life story and everything. And from that moment, I was uh, completely uh, focused on that, that I uh, one day go maybe at that art university, uh, some art school or something. And and still today, I mean, I one time per year probably watching that movie because it bring me nice memories because it was making that, uh, I think, biggest impact on me to, to uh, take art like one uh, profession. Great, nice to be <laughs> So you already told me you were born in Bosnia and then you studied at the University of Mostar. You studied art, uh, you made the bachelor and the master. And since then you're successfully working as an artist and <laughs> won many prizes and everything. And now you're living in Austria, in Innsbruck. Uh, what brought you to Austria, especially to Innsbruck? <laughs> 
Uh, yes, after I was finishing my that uh, high school in Tuzla, I was uh, applying in that University of Mostar. It's the Academy of Fine Arts, and and uh, it, it's it's it was really really good uh, time of my life because uh, it's, it's it was really specific that uh, place of that academy was uh, uh, dislocated from the city area was on one small hill and was also students for around uh, from other regions not just from from bosnia and was a really good good place with really nice studios inside and 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 what was for me it's it's that environment what you have on on uh, art school in, in the art academy that environment where you come every day at eight o'clock in your studio and working and you are surrounded with, with people with same interests and you always can ask someone for advice you have that working energy you have that art energy who, what is cruising and that i'm taking like most important thing from from uh from uh, uh my my time when I was studying, and and what I was uh, have biggest benefits is from that because I was fo we was focusing mostly on work. We didn't have other much entertainment things from outside to distract us, and we was uh, focusing just on that work. We was having just that art. What we was from eight o'clock in the morning until seven o'clock at night. We was focused just on that. We was having. Uh, Quite good, also professors who was a renowned artist also, and uh, we were spending much, much, much time in that studios, uh, working, uh, making experiments, and whatever on mostly on every other academy doing same. Just that I think what was special for that academy was that uh, location. It was it was one nice, nice big building inside nature, dislocated and. Uh, uh, I was creating r really nice uh, things there, and I was getting really good knowledge there. And uh, in in Innsbruck was br I was coming accidentally visiting some family here. That was happened later after I was having a little bit that kind of life when I was living in different cities, uh, searching some you know uh, like an artist you go for to to, to get some new experience from from uh, other cities uh, researching that other art scenes you know when you are in in your own country you you already are built in some art scene you know mostly galleries you 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 are included in all exhibitions and i wanted some new uh, challenge to have to experience some new environment and then accidentally i was coming to innsbruck in austria and accidentally i was staying here and then i was finding here also like nice place for me that I could create uh, that I can more focus on my art I'm living in Innsbruck it's really nice city and really much reminding me on my home city on Tuzla it's more it, it's like almost same size it's like it's it's physically also much reminding me and uh, it's not uh, I, I I was not uh, running never from big cities you know i was also living in some big cities but this is like that measure for 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 one person it's good measure of city where i can you know get everything what i want i can get also much inspiration what, how much i want but i can still have that much time to focus on on my art what i spending in my studio and i was having luck to get uh, to come to what is i think most important for one artist to to have a nice studio that I was also accidentally meeting some people what was, let's say, uh, recognize uh, my my works and they was uh, recognize me like like some potential and they was uh, giving me opportunity that I get that studio to use that studio and that was uh, some of the things what was making uh, that uh, influence on me to stay in this city. I mean, that doesn't mean that I will not go maybe in some other place, uh, some other city. You never know where that, you know, uh, life can bring you, where your career can bring you. But uh, today is, it's, uh, it's that time where you have much connection during uh, with that uh, digital world. So you don't have to exactly be physically present in some other places, some other, let's say, art centers. You can get connections with... with uh, with uh, internet and everything and uh, and still stay in your studio and work your 
on work on your yeah, own. I understand. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so the next questions are um, related to your art and your paintings and everything. So first question, what is your inspiration for your paintings? And I saw you always in the focus of your artistic work um, there are always faces or uh, human bodies. Um, what is your inspiration for your paintings? <laughs> Well, uh, inspiration, inspiration is, it's, it's, you know, there is much things what I now analyzing because with that cyclus, what I'm working, that was starting immediately when I was finishing my, my uh, academy with my, that was 2009 with my first solo exhibitions, what I was having. And that's, uh, it's all, it's repeating same, let's say thematic, it, it's uh, almost the same cyclus of works just with normal with the progresses, progress what I make and uh, it's it's when I now sit and analyze what was in, making impact on me to start with that, you know, that some probably also things that you bringing from your from your childhood, from your uh, period of growing, you know, I was also growing in in, uh, in, in Tuzla, in that city, what is really uh, have big one of the biggest maybe in ex-Yugoslavia industrial uh, area. And always, always when you're passing, first thing when you're coming to that city is that big, big, big fabrics. It's, it's also that big, big fabric of electricity for producing electricity. And always like kid, when you're passing there, when you're driving with cars, something that it's, it's first big visual impression that you're getting. It's from that industry areas with that much cables, mm -hmm. with much uh, everything, you know. And probably later, later that was uh, making me that I start uh, making some connect connection between between uh, figure of of human body connected with with in visual way with with that some electric mm -hmm. parts with that some uh, that's uh, it's much of of ready made things let's say what you implying in your art and uh, second thing also I was growing in 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 my father is is an art professor he was a professional sportist. And I was like, with 15 years, I was like, during my, that student's period, I was working always in his fitness club, his owning, and I was always, always interested in anatomy, and I was always interested in that body, in move, energy, what body releasing during his movements, and that stuff, and probably when, when was that everything mixing, was coming to that things to to also I was much impressed with life of Nikola Tesla that our scientists I wrote much books about him I was reading and everything that one was mixing in my head probably I came to that that, that I trying to 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 show in my art probably that started unconsciously but now I know what was the causing that was that that I start to, to, to research that uh, uh, relation between humans and technology in that visual way, how can I represent that, you know, because, and, and uh, especially this last hundred years was, was biggest probably technology uh, progress made it. And last 10 years was also big technology comparing with that last hundred years was made it. And uh, I trying somehow to catch that I, I was uh, using that uh, uh, from from computer that part that hardware parts I, I trying to, to, to implement them and give them other function you know they are produced for 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 to serve in something else in that some technology that they serve I taking them and recycling mm -hmm. them. I'm not buying that new parts. I'm taking and recycling them, and and trying to give put them in other function, mm -hmm. to put them that that they create some visual function, and like that I'm trying to tell how that technology was implementing uh, in a, in a nature, in in everyday life, in 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 society completely, how it's that good parts of the technology, that bad parts of the technology how they impacting, you know, how they helping us to solve some problems, what we could not maybe solve, and how they also distracting us from real, that uh, real, real, have to tell human uh, good things what they are. They distracting us much from that. And it's, it's like they help, they tell it's in everything is that two sides, 
it's it's much flowers inside it's much garbage inside and it's hard to people to to they getting lost between all that and i somehow trying to to put everything that together with i combining different techniques i using much plastic also mm -hmm. in my works somehow i trying that to put all together or when when canvas or in one installation and try to maybe record like like some di uh, diary of this period what I'm what I surviving also a nice answer <laughs> I really like your art and I think I never saw this before this combination of electronics and, and paintings I think it's super cool yeah. thank so, you yeah <laughs> and do you uh, know how viewers react to your art so do they feel special things when they, do you know that if they feel something special do they tell you it's 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 interesting really for, for for me also when i have some exhibition or something how people because some of the some of the my works a lot of my works it's hard to represent on on photography let's say i have much problems when mm -hmm. i need make phot photography for for catalogs for it's hard to get that impression of that world some of my works they are including uh, uh, viewers, they including person who watching that art, they 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 including him to come closer. I also in some works have that uh, uh, optical illusion, so in, what I including you, know, so so inviting you that work basically inviting you to, to come closer, that you research him. He's completely different from five meters when you when you're watching him. It's completely different when you come on two meter distance. You and uh, and uh, it's it's different people. Uh, uh, it's that that's what it's some kind of point of part that everything uh, uh, gets some different interpretation of that my works you know someone is just uh, some artificial viewers let's say they are just fascinated from from that technique what i'm working you know someone trying to find something deeper inside someone who is visual type let's say they 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 may be watching just that aesthetic way of art someone watching uh, maybe that uh, philosophical meaning of work what what it's what it's uh, in the end what was my message to describe to tell something you know so it's it's really interesting to get that reactions you know it's it's not same when, when i asking my friends you know they're giving you like compliments how my work's looking you know someone telling wow that's so fascinating you know and and it's everything you need to take out from that you know art is not just for fascination and it's also not just to tell some story it, it's it's much things you know what is put in one and and that's that is for me one maybe one what is maybe most interesting thing yeah. to to hear that reactions you know also there's also much there there are, i'm i'm conscious that my art not they are not that uh, in, in that sense, like people like to say, tell beauty, you know, in beauty, in, in that sense of decorative way that they are just beauty, you know, but, but lots of people, you know, expecting that a lot of people would not put, let's say, in the home, my art, you know, and I'm conscious about that, you know, for a lot of people, they are tough, you know, some people just want to see something beauty, you know, some people want to see just something what, what relaxes them, you know, it's, it's, you know, I'm understanding that, and that's what what is for me interesting to see. And then you seeing, then you also reaching about personalities, about that people in that reaction, mm -hmm. that reaction, what they what they giving you about your art. Then you reaching some kind of you taking out, and you can reach which kind of personalities that people have. Uh, yeah, that that's that's how I'm uh, watching on that. Beautiful answer. <laughs> Uh, so, um, do you have um, you personally? Do you have uh, one artwork that you that completely changed your mind? That you think that was super super impressive, or isn't there anything? But uh, there there is uh, 
there is certain artist what what I was let's say what was making that like I tell impact mm -hmm. on my life that was changing me something you know I follow in the, always that art scene in the world what happening in local art scene I trying to catch you know it's it's so much things you know what you see always you know you you can never come to that point that you think that you already saw everything because it's always how much is different personalities in world or di it's it's it can be that much different art, art facts in world, you know. So I cannot tell something special now. Maybe I cannot remember now something special what was, you know. But there were some artists who was like that I was telling that Jackson Pollock, even if I'm not, not using that much now, that action painting, I'm not using that much what he was, you know, in my art, you know. But but like like that how he how he was treating art and what he was making and which energy he was releasing you know during that art you know was was maybe that inspiring me there's probably some of also of now of contemporary artists who are doing but uh, Ansel Kifa let's say Gerhard Richter is one of the maybe probably most famous still living artists in the world you know and and some of that artists are that what I you know, I always love to see their works, you know, in live and to uh, up in time, I like to come in some galleries and to get that, you know, let's say also inspiration in that work. Even if I don't have much connection in my in my uh, art, what I'm working, it's not a, a much visual connection with some other artist paintings, but it's it's important that energy what I'm getting from, from that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> So um, the next question is related to the Corona crisis that we currently still have, um, unfortunately. Um, so how did you experience the lockdowns and all the closures and everything during the crisis? And uh, did your life as an artist changed since uh, then in the last years? Uh, uh, I have to tell you that, that probably uh, most productive period of my life was now less than two okay, years. Okay. You know, maybe most, most also maybe not just most productive, most uh, mm -hmm. focus period where I was most focused on 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 art was that because I'm also a person who liked enjoying enjoying in in other parts of life. You know, also nightlife, also that social life. I like much to enjoy and also you know that sometimes can distract you a little bit you know you are still working you are still in 100 percent inside your your working process but like this i was i thinking you know most percentage what i i could get the time focus on my work i was getting for this period you know in 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 and i was i i'm excited for that new uh, I was from beginning watching all that new situations. I didn't have any kind of fears because of that. What I was always surviving, like with uh, six, seven years old, I was surviving that five years of war, you know, and I did not have fear of that um, new coming situations, you know. And I always was trying to get something to, to, to use something from that situation for my art. I always trying to use that if it's that uh, some stress situations if I try to use that energy to try to express in my art you know and I was working much I can tell that uh, in in working hours I was spending double work uh, double more working hours inside my studio and I was making that one cyclus what what was coming last two years it's it's completely made it inside this lockdown I want to starting I want to starting some some new cyclus what I will make completely inside that two years like some experiments that I see how I will you know it was hard maybe just that that was mostly of that exhibitions what was planned was delayed I was catching that one exhibition but what was what, what I'm also uh, 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 was excited about that is that one all uh, virtual exhibitions I was having in in, in I think March 2020 to in on art steps platform you know what was organizing that my uh, 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 ex professor from my academy and my good friend Josip Mich also big art, really good artist and he was uh, offering me that he was making that virtual gallery that we make one virtual exhibition that was my first virtual exhibition you know so we was using that time to try something new to more that to come more also in that virtual world 
and I was making that one sequels where what was much much it's it was same topic but but in technical way it was much different than everything else what I was doing before yeah. and that that exactly that where was that uh, let's say much portraits much that human body figures who who was uh, uh, who where I was showing much more introvert where I was showing much more what's happening inside what one person than what was uh, that bra- background was completely gray or flat because we was uh, excluded from 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 world completely and only connection with this world was some that uh, uh, virtual connection was only internet and was media media impact you know and usually i was in much work i was putting that you know everything was happening inside one person you know and it's just connected let's say with two cables with that outside world or something you know and like me for art it was very productive of course in that uh, other part of art what is really important art management and art uh, that exhi- after art exhibitions was uh, everything delayed and still until now that some d- dates are completely delayed you know uh, also for that uh, 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 Kunstmesse we was we was also uh, much of them was delaying you know but uh, I I, I think I was uh, uh, for myself I was doing satisfying thing with that cyclos what I was making and I think that will come time where, where everything will be in in, in let's say normal situation and and that will come time or uh, their gallery will normally yeah. work where will when we will have opportunity because art like art you know it's it's getting sense only when you share with people sure. when you share with, when you share with with uh, public when you share with people and their reaction and that's what i think it's sense of art and you know not just to to, to make me happy in my studio or to make me happy in my in my room you know and that also giving giving ma- much uh, to, to, to artists also without exhibitions you know without everything you don't have that like like you, you're doing half work in that other half you still we still waiting to come to more normal yeah. and that we that's yeah. true yes <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, do you have uh, artistic goals for this year or anything planned? I mean, yeah, you already said it's still the crisis and we, we cannot plan anything quite, quite well. But do you have something in mind that you want to achieve this year? Oh, with, with exactly with with with, uh, with a schedule that I exactly can tell something with with uh, dates or or certain galleries or certain exhibitions that group exhibitions what I what I'm always included with some that uh, with art, some artist unions with some artist uh, residents you know that I having now in in July also that one who is who is I think one of the oldest art art in residence programs in in Bosnia and Herzegovina in that my hometown Tuzla I'm directly there in in, in organization you know and we're doing that every year that's for sure I going that it's 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 the end of the June and there I will participate you know and that's some kind of that group exhibition they are still uh, I have big wish to make that now to represent this work like in one solo mm-hmm. exhibition but it's still still uh, it's not everything fixed exactly because of that it's not possible to yeah. fix exactly date because we don't know still until i don't know end of the year maybe or summer that predictions are not sure 100 percent you know we were seeing in that two years that we <laughs> could not predict ever nothing yeah. for sure but i'm working much you know i'm i'm also a little bit uh, discovering that uh, uh, virtually or that digital art a little bit more I'm also even before I was doing much that co- in combination with this art you know I trying also to find there maybe my place mm-hmm. in, with, with some also gal- virtual guard is some NFT projects what but it's now you know it's also good opportunity like for artists you know it's also for big discussion that uh, nft art what is now it's it was so exploding you know but i think after one two years now when come that nice selection when that everything come to, to its place i think that is big potential so basically i'm trying always to to give to myself some motivation yeah. in my own work you know to to always something this you know i i i'm trying always to run from that comfort mm-hmm. zone in my working process, 
you know when when i when i figure out that i'm already doing something let's say that automatically without problems you know i'm trying to go inside something else you know and that's what is for me like a goal it's most important that you know to to, to stand up in morning and to have still that wish to yeah. create to create something you know what 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 i think it's 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 inspiring me and i think that's biggest goal and all that side side effects like like i like to tell that exhibition in, in thing and that things you know i think that that will come yeah. you know on that yeah. and there's also artentico with you i collaborate yeah. now and that i i i enjoying the, like that kind of project I love also that some new projects, but it's and, and to come from beginning to be part of to build something new, you know. That's yeah, thank you for this answer. <laughs> nice one. And the last question: um, What advice would you give to young artists uh, based on your experience? What advice? <laughs> well, advice is is uh, only advice, but I can tell it's it's you know. If you, it, it's hard. It's it's also hard. Let's if you take like profession art, but it's more than profession because it, it, you're living with that. You know, you cannot finish like artist. You cannot tell. Oh, I was finishing work for today and go home sleep. You know, the, you are 24 hours inside that. You know, and and you're working that. In, and I mean that it's it's. But it's for me, from my experience, what I can tell. What is most important is that uh, that that you every day but of course you you need you need to cause that you need to have that wish inside yourself every day to go and to, to even even if you're not i also making sometimes break i don't go in studio let's say i relax two three days you know but i'm working on something else you know maybe sometimes i'm spending all day in studio let's say just thinking or watching and i not do practically mm -hmm. nothing you know i think just uh, to 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 need just work in that sense that you that, that you are if you're already deciding to do art then that you have to just have that process of, of working and growing you know it's hard for artists in in sense it's, it's there are some artists who was making big success, success you know even that i like to tell it's it's for big discussion what means success in art you know what? What's mean once a success in art is that mean that you are just successful if you have a huge that big exhibitions? If you are really financially ma making something from your art, that's also it's not just success. So it's real for big discussion. What is that success in art? That's you know, true. and that's my advice. You know, if you feel something to do like art, just do art. It, art is not just play. Like you know, some artists used to tell it, it. You know, it's 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 just fun. It's play. It's not. You know, it's it's if you're doing like a hobby, maybe it's 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 funny. It's 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 good play. It's good entertainment. You know, but if you're doing like a serious job, you know, it's it's hard work. Like uh, every other work is yeah. hard. Yeah, just just go inside, release yourself, and and do what everything, and just do. If you have any idea, you just take and you you do and you try to. You know, also critics don't don't let that critics. You know. Put you out from from your way, you know. Uh, sometimes bad critic is even better than good critic, you know. It's 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 worse than when people are when when, when it's no uh, up and downs when you are in middle. It's worse that's reaction for me when it's you know when you're not causing any emotion at let's say viewer, you know, without any emotion when it's or if you're telling it's just super or it's just so bad, it's much better than that is without any emotion. So in, in, in art, it's, it's what, what is excited about art is that there's no uh, any recipes how to do it or, or what is good or which is recipes. It's not always two and two that it's four, you know, in art. So it's no other advice that then if you feel, if you feel, if you see that you have some talents for art, just you need to go inside that and work and give, you know, maximum you need to give. You need maybe not physically maximum, but with your head, with your life, you need to go inside 100% and something will come up. Very beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I agree. So thank you so much for this interview, Alexander. And yeah, I hope to see you sometimes <laughs> in real life, maybe, yeah. or 
Thank you, Julius. It was a really nice and relaxing yeah. interview. You know, I want to thank also to that our team who are all so good. It's so good uh, that uh, energy always when we uh, when we have some kind of meetings on that. And I also hope that now we will we will have some other projects, maybe also for some yeah. exhibitions that we will meet yeah. together. Also have uh, exchange some experience, exchange some ideas. You know and. I think that we are on good way yes, to make it. Yes, I think that too. <laughs> Thank you very much.